Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you about how I cut my hair. I made it up by myself, this technique, and I think it works pretty well. I did it myself last time, and it's been a while. I'm cutting it off again because it's really getting too thick in the back, and I don't like the feeling of all the hair on my head. So the first thing I'm trying for the first time is wearing a trash bag just because when you cut your hair you get all these little hair bits on you and those are really itchy and uncomfortable and they just don't come off for some reason. So we're trying it with a trash bag outfit and if you want to do it really short you're going to need a buzzer, you're going to need these these kind of scissors, the um, shears, these are great because it keeps the length. I'll show you and then just regular hair cutting scissors are great too I got these on Amazon they were like 20 bucks for both of them highly recommend so that you can do your own hair by yourself at home then you don't even have to depend on other people to do your hair so let's try this the first time I used it it was actually harder to get the hair to come off than I thought I thought that you just go like this that and the hair comes off it wasn't coming off I don't know but let's try it now guys Okay, and the other third thing that you need, the other thing that you need for this, this um, operation is you need to not really care about what other people think about you. Because ultimately it doesn't matter how your hair comes out, you rock it either way. So let's do this. It's coming off a little bit. Um... I think this is the right way to use it. I'm just kind of like brushing up. I don't even really care how it looks because I just need to get that hair off and it's gonna look fine. Let's see, I would think that more hair is coming off, but. Oh no. I don't know. See, I try it, but the hair's not coming off. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. It's not really coming off. I thought it would be easier. But it's not coming off. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, there we go. Maybe I have the wrong angle. Yeah, I think I just was using the wrong angle. Here we go. Yeah, it's about the angle. I was using the wrong angle before and it wasn't cutting off. Here we go. Check it out guys coming off and when you have a short hairstyle like this like unless you're going for a really stylized look with like straight lines or whatever a short hairstyle like this you can just kind of buzz wherever and then these scissors are really the secret those that make it really good because you can kind of trim it up anywhere and pull it together it's all gonna grow out again anyway but when it's short like this I have more flexibility or even, even long hair, whatever. So I'm just kind of doing it by hand. I don't know what I'm doing over here, but it's going to be good. Whatever it is, it's going to be good. There we go. It's coming off now. I don't know what angle I'm supposed to be doing it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. I just kind of feel as I go. Wherever it's long, I try and cut it off until I get the right length that I want. I just don't want hair growing back in my neck. It's just so uncomfortable.
I do like a really clean buzz because this hair is not coming out. Maybe I just have a shitty buzzer. attachments I have I have this one I don't even know what size it is but it's like the size of the end the tip of my finger okay. it's feeling shorter it's not necessarily like really clean but I know it's gonna look fine in the back so then I look take these and I go to town wherever it feels long just cut it and this keeps the length but thins it out that's why these are really important to have they're great to have if you want to cut your own hair at home see look it keeps the length but it's thinning it out and making it a lot more comfortable so I just you go with my hands anywhere that feels long and kind of thick I just go in there and cut it lot cut it out and I just keep doing that all around my head until it feels feels comfortable for me it feels like the way that I want it and the good news is, because I have these tools at home, that if I miss a spot or whatever, I can always go back in later and fix it anytime. I don't have to go make an appointment, go to the hair salon, figure out if I have to pay a tip or whatever. Sometimes it's nice to treat yourself and do that, for sure, if you want to get a stylized look. Like, I plan on getting a stylized look, I'm going to go to an event or whatever. But it's kind of fun to experiment yourself too and learn how to cut hair and not really care about what other people think about you and just have fun and be yourself. That's what this is all about. It's the first time I was cutting it, I was like, I, oh, I don't think it's looking that good. And I'm like, well, why do I fucking care how it's even going to look? It's all the same. No one even cares. It's gonna look good no matter what because I'll rock it. Now the bangs, how am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do this? The bangs are getting kind of long. No, you know what? For the bangs, I am gonna do the straight scissors. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm gonna do like this for now. It looks kind of weird right now, right? But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these. By the way, when I was younger, my dream was to be a hairdresser, and then everybody was like, don't do it, because they had, like, prejudice against hairstylists. I never went to hair school, but I know I would rock it. Check this out, guys. I'm using these now. I'm going to trim it up a little bit to make it look a little bit more, like, jagged, I suppose. I'm not really going for clean lines. I'm just kind of doing how I feel. But I like the short bangs look. It gets it off your head. Looking all right. This is the other, other trick they do at the salon. They go like that to make it like jagged. I see. I pay attention. I don't go to the hair salon and just play on my phone the whole time and like look at Facebook. I pay attention to what they're doing so I can learn some things. So, so like there, I maybe cut a little too much, but it's okay. It will grow back. Who cares? Whatever. Check that out. It looks like a clean look for the bangs. I like that it's kind of jagged. I know you're probably supposed to do the bangs last, but I do it however the hell I want because it's my, I'm in control over here. So there we have the bangs. Now let's cut some more length off. It's still pretty long and like just kind of bushy and I don't want that look right now I want it thinned out it's hot it's hot out just don't be afraid just see be confident in whatever you're doing that's the other secret so check it out I'm just eyeballing this the whole time I'm going for the texture that I want because I like a layered a layered texture that's the kind of look I want Look, it's already, it's looking pretty good. Like, I don't love the bangs, but whatever. I'll learn to love the bangs. I didn't have to do it that way. I could have chosen to do it another way. 
but it's fun to experiment and see how things look. And kind of learn a bit about hair cutting on your own. The best way to learn stuff is just by doing it and figuring it out. I love to do that. Like with gardening too, I've just been kind of doing it as I want to and figuring it out as I go. Making mistakes and learning from the mistakes. guys you couldn't see what I was doing I'm just cutting wherever it looks longer and too thick I'm just going in there with these shears nothing is planned here it's all improvised But like, think about how they do it at the salon. This is exactly the stuff that they do on you at the salon. They go like this a little bit, they see where they want to cut a little bit more, and they cut it. I'm just doing the same thing here. These, though, are the ones that you need. These shears. That makes the biggest difference. See, look, it's coming together. It's looking pretty good. It's kind of like a pixie cut. It's kind of what I wanted to do. So here we go. Especially with this pandemic going on, at least when you cut your hair at home, you don't have to wear a mask, right? Getting a lot of hair cut off. Oh, well, a good amount anyway. So, do I want to keep that kind of thing here? I don't know. No, I don't. There we go. I like to be able to tuck it behind my ears at least. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. It doesn't matter how it looks. You make it look good. You know, you know what looks good. So you make your hair look like that. Whatever. See, it feels a little thick over here. I'm just going to cut it. There we go. There we go. I think my hairdresser would be proud of me. I really do. can't really see what I'm doing. But. Yeah, with these shears, it's also less likely to cut yourself. The other ones can be kind of sharp, and if you're doing it kind of like how I am, it's easy to cut yourself with the other scissors because they're sharp. But yeah, most people don't want to cut their hair by themselves because they're afraid. So what are you afraid of? Please go and reflect on that question. What are you afraid of? And that fear is holding you back in life, I'm telling you. Just go for it. Maybe need a little bit of hair wax for the texture, which I have. So yeah, I'm just kind of going like this and wherever it sticks out too far like there, time to cut it down. Do, 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 do. It's, so, it's really fun to cut your own hair. I'm telling you guys, you could experience it. Check it out. And wherever you want a straight edge, just go with the straight, sharp scissors. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about the bangs, but they'll grow out and I can redo them pretty soon because bangs grow out super fast. I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna ruin my whole day or let let bangs ruin like my life. Just hair guys, come on. It's just hair. I think 
think it's looking pretty good. It feels great. It feels it feels like it's thinned out a little bit. There's pretty long hair. I can feel it in the back that it's long hair, so I'm gonna cut that off. a little bit long here. I'm going with the regular scissors behind my head. There we go. The other thing with the hair salons is they're usually so busy you can't even get an appointment. So like I give up with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll go back to the hair salon. It's fun sometimes, but for regular every day, just do it yourself. Check it out, guys. I think it looks pretty good. Let's put some stuff in it for some texture because with short hair, you need to add some stuff for texture a little bit sometimes. So here's like a hair wax, whatever. I don't even know what it is. It doesn't matter. It's all the same shit anyway. Here we go. How's that guys? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's better than it looked before I cut it. It was all bushy and whatever. But you see how that's sticking out? I should trim it there. Here we go. Uh oh. It's getting stuck. There we go. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this video. Let's check it out now. How's that? Looks like I just came back from the hair salon, right? I think it's looking pretty good. I like in this side how it's a little pointed. I'm going to try and do it here. I'm going to need the regular scissors for that. I'm going to do like a little sideburn pointy thingy. Oh, that didn't work out as much as I thought it would. That's okay. I'll thin it out. Thin it out a little bit. It'll grow out. It will look fine. But these shears really make a difference. You thin it out that way. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm really proud of my abilities. Like, check this out, guys. This is professional level. I have no hair cutting experience. I, but every time I cut my hair, I gain more experience. How about that? Now I have already like a year of hair cutting experience. I've been cutting my own hair pretty much the whole time. Except for that one time I had her buzz it off in the beginning. Just because I couldn't do that by myself. Plus, I wouldn't have gotten a clean edge and I want to have a clean edge. If, so if you want a clean edge, I recommend going to the salon. If you want a choppy look, just try it yourself because between the three tools I use, the buzzer, the scissors, and these shear picking, these shears, you'll make it look good. Trust. Trust in your own abilities. Believe in yourself and appreciate your own beauty however you look. Be your authentic self. Start offering free haircuts. That'll be fun. So I can't really see the back. Let me try and see the back hand. Okay, I have this mirror in here. Let's see the back. Well, you guys can see the back. I can't. 
lot. It's not bad. I have. It's not awful. It's kind of hard to do that part myself. I might get my friend to try and trim it up for me. But it's not awful. Like I'm gonna go out in public today with like this. I don't care. I don't care. And you shouldn't either. But I can try and trim it. It's, it's actually harder to get the hair off than I thought it would be. Yeah, that was a really great idea. I only I have only a little bit of hairs on my back. It's really not bad. It's pretty minimal. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were inspired to cut your own hair. It's fun and it feels great when you cut it all off. Less to have to worry about. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're thinking about cutting your hair and um, what's stopping you. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel 